Greetings to you all, my people, and welcome to another episode of Damole News. All right, my people. So, the trending news today is that the Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has dragged Oba of Bini to court. Now, this is something that has never been done or heard before. Anyways, the Edo State Government has come out to debunk the news. According to them, they said no court matter against Oba of Benin. All right, I'm going to be giving you guys the full details of this news, but please help us to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, help us to like and share this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Thank you. So, the Edo State Government on Thursday said it has no court matter with Oba Eware II, the Oba of Benin, Omonoba Nedo Uku Akpolokpolo. Though social media reports suggest that there is a current court case in Initiated by the government against traditional ruler, a situation the state government described as the hardy work of enemies of the state. But in a statement, the special advisor to Governor Godwin Obaseki, Osagi, urged residents of the state and the general public to disregard the reports. According to his words, he said, the Edo state government has no case in court against the royal father of Monoba Nedo Ukuakpolopolo Oba Eware II, the Oba of Benin. The rumor making the rants on social media of an impending court case is the handiwork of enemies of the state and should be disregarded. As a matter of fact, in the matter being referenced by the purveyors of the fake news, the Edo state government is a defendant, which means the state government is being sued. The state government maintains a cordial relationship with the royal palace and holds the Omonoba Nedo Ukuwa Polopolo or by Eware II Ogidigan in high esteem. According to the governor's spokesman, the rumor is fabricated, fake, and should be discontenanced in its entirety. He reiterated the state government's commitment to sustaining a harmonious relationship with all stakeholders in the state. But unfortunately for the Edo state government, in a video trading online, an eyewitness inside the court said that Obaseki is restraining the palace officials for entry the court. All right, I will let you guys watch the video and I'll be right back. Regarding the case of the Oba, we are in court now. Life in Edo state. Life, life in Edo. High court. Obaseki is restraining the palace representative from entering the court premises. This is what's happening life in Edo state right now. Obaseki took the Oba of Beni to court and is actually um, blocking people not to come into the premises to know the things, uh, for the world to know what's happening. As you can see, this is the main entrance to the court premises. All right, so in another video I'll be playing for you guys, the palace chiefs and the Bini youth were protesting and marching to the high court to defend the Oba of Benin. So my people, the true story here now is that the Oba of Benin was not dragged to court by a Edo state government, but by two Enoges that were suspended. Alright, so here is the video evidence and after watching the video, I'll be right back. Of the Nigerian Television Authority, led by Spagwe Zona Director, Benin Network Center, Mrs. Pauline Igbano in his palace, where he honored her, or by way the second, assured that the Edo state government would not accede to the request of disgruntled dicks who spearheaded a petition in November 2022. 
The petition was seeking the creation of parallel Benin traditional councils across the seven local government areas in Benin Kingdom. The royal father appreciated Governor Basiki for not acceding to such requests and called on loyalists to rally, support and defend Benin culture and tradition which belong to Nigerians and remain a source of pride to everyone. His royal majesty or Bayawai II who clarified that being a Benin duke is not a political appointment but a cultural assignment one that the Benin throne would not tolerate a situation where the same structure that was created by Oba Palace would be used to rubbish Benin culture and tradition by way of scheming or scamming. We cannot create something that will bring us down, for goodness sake. We created a new structure. The authority they have emanates from here. It is not a political appointment, it is a cultural assignment. We thank God the ambassador for not acceding to that their request, for not giving them any listening here. You know, and, I, and I do hope he will not. We will continue to work hard to build upon the legacy of our ancestors. Alright, so today, which is Thursday, the 9th of May, the palace chiefs, priests and priestess storm court premises to support Oba of Benin over case filed against him by the two suspended Inigis. Alright, I'll let you guys watch the video and I'll be right back. <laughs> So, as it stands, it is the two Enigis that were suspended that is suing Oba of Benin to court, not a do state government nor Oba Seki. As Oba Seki and his government has come out to say that they are not supporting the two Enigis, as a do state government and the palace of Benin are in good relationship with each other. It will be good for you to look beyond your office, because you are not going to be there all the time. It's good to, be, to look beyond. You see the elder statesman there, Chief Odigi Oyegu, was once a governor. He's not there anymore now. Everybody knows that he's transient. Everybody knows. But you, you look beyond. Look at the bigger picture. Look at how one day you can also sit and be, when you are no longer the governor, everybody can still give you respect. More respect you. All right, my people, that is it for you all. I saw this news and I decided to share it with you guys. So let me know your opinion in the comment section. And please help us by liking and sharing this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Thank you so much for your time and God bless you. Amen.